and gentlemen and children of all ages, the plays the thing with your host, Judy Sleed. Special guest, Tom Steele, organizer of the Labor Day Landscape Show. Now here's Judy, Judy, Judy. Thank you, Lee. That was a very nice introduction. And I have a repeat guest on my show. Hi, Tom. Hello, Judy. Thank you for having me on again. Yes, it was great. I mean, we just, I just ran into you in the supermarket, and then we made a date. That's exactly <laughs> it. I was buying <laughs> yes. my lunch meats for lunch. I was hungry. <laughs> and I ran yes, into well, you. it was great. I mean, I had a, you know, sort of a vacation in the summer, and I... It's almost full. Can you believe it? I know. It's, it's end of very August. Fast. <laughs> but that means the end of August means it's time for the Labor Day Landscape Show. Yes, it and sure is. And that's why you're here. You want to talk about this big event on Labor Day. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, going to be at Ashrag Hall, which is in uh, Springs. Yeah, it's in the Springs section of um, East Hampton. Yes. And uh, the Labor Day Landscape Show, uh, this is the fourth annual. Uh, show and uh, the ben the show is a benefit for the Nature Conservancy. Uh, there are 14 artists in the show this year, and you know amongst us, you know, I so I, I organize the show and uh, invite the artists in, and then from there we all help each other with the show and we hang the show and uh, you know. So that's great. I like people who organize things from scratch. Yes, it takes, and it's a lot of work. It is. It's a it lot is. of work to, yeah. to, to do it right. And you try to convince people, hey, do this with me, do this. Yeah. So uh, you want to show some of the, your guests' work to start with? Uh, yeah, we could. That'll let everyone know exactly you know, what we're, you know, okay, we're going to so be exhibiting. Okay, so these are all landscapes. Yeah, the 14 artists in the show are... Mm -hmm. um, uh, all well, it's a landscape show, and in past years I've always done representational uh, landscapes, but this year the theme is South Fork Light, and it, the, you know when you're inspired by the light, it doesn't have to be representational artwork, and so this year I've invited in uh, landscape uh, artists who um, abstract artists. Uh, we have Pam Topham who does uh, tapestries. Um, uh, we have. Uh, uh, Mary Milne, who does um, fused mm -hmm. glass sculptures, um, oh, so it's inspired not only, by the landscape. So, so it's not only painting or photography. There are other sort of artwork. That's yeah. wonderful. There's a lot of paintings, uh, oil and acrylic. Uh, but the, the common mm -hmm. denominator here is that whether the work is done in the studio or plein air out in the field, um, it's all inspired uh, by the local landscape. And, uh, and in this case, we try to incorporate the light as the theme uh, for the show. Well, the Hamptons, where we live, it's really an ideal place for all sorts of artists. It it's is. It's so beautiful out here. It's A lot of artists uh, flock over here <laughs> to do their work. <laughs> <laughs> they do, and they've been yeah. coming here for over 100 years. Yes, um, I no think wonder. East Hampton is probably uh -huh. one of the oldest um, and most notable art colonies uh, in America. Right, and a lot of people got sort of a name for themselves around here, oh. would you say? Oh yes, most definitely. Yeah. Especially Tom Steele. Oh, <laughs> 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 only because I'm photographing the landscape. Yeah, um, well you do a good job. You were on my previous show and I saw it. I'd seen a lot of your work. So it would be nice if we could start to see some uh, of yeah. those. Uh, the first slide that we'll see uh -huh. is uh, my latest uh, photograph. Uh, uh -huh. This photograph will be at the exhibition. It is uh, three feet high by seven feet wide. Um, it is a photograph of the double dunes in Amagansett, uh, which is one of the Nature Conservancy sites. Mm -hmm. um, I actually photographed that just a couple of days ago. Really? And, um, You're going to have to teach me how to use my camera. Well, the interesting, I'll tell you about my process on this photograph. This yeah. photograph is actually about 100 photographs. Um, and I, I take them all, like uh, small, small bits of the landscape. I'll get the sky, the clouds, all the bushes, mm -hmm. the dunes. And then I put them all together in Photoshop, which is uh, a painstaking I could never process. Do that. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes I wish I didn't have the ability to do that, because I'd find another way to do it. But the uh -huh. results are, are spectacular. 
Um, the detail in, the, in this particular photograph is so ex extraordinary that in the final print, you could actually see the cobwebs in the plants. Uh, and when you approach a photograph of this size, with this clarity, um, you've, it feels like you're just right in the landscape, which is what I'm looking to achieve. And um, this is a, a painting of uh, Wayne Scott Pond. Uh, this was done by Gordon Matheson. Uh -huh. And uh, Gordon is a good friend of mine. And we organize and a lot of exhibitions together. Does he uh, use together. the same process as you? No, Gordon is a painter. Oh. Um, so his process, is, uh, his process and his materials are very different than mine. That's very interesting. And uh, I often run into him at Wayne Scott Pond when I'm going to photograph and he's come in to, uh, to start painting. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Casey uh, Anderson. Um, I believe this is uh, sailboats at Laos Point. Uh, in uh, La Laos Point in Akabonic Harbor. Oh. Akabonic oh, Harbor refreshing. is a very popular, um, um, it's a magnet in a way for the artists in this show because most of the artists have done have been inspired in some way by uh, Akabana Harbor, and uh, so you'll be seeing a lot of work in the show from Akabana Harbor. Great, I'm looking forward to seeing it. This is Eileen Scratch. Um, this is taken in Southampton, I believe on, ooh, I forget the location. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere I'm sorry. in Southampton. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, Leo Rebbe. Uh, oh. This is his work. Uh, Leo's um, is a well-known painter out here, actually. And that name sounds familiar. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's not the show is a benefit for the Nature Conservancy, but you know, farmlands is very important out here also. And mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, Leo's work uh, brings in some of that element in, into the mm -hmm. exhibition. Uh, Barbara Pintara Labosco. This is the. Um, she's a new. I've invited her in this year. This is the first time she'll be in the exhibition. Pintara. That's a name I know. Yes, and I hope I got her name wrong, right. I, I'm realizing now that uh, maybe I didn't. Let's take a look. Um, oh. Yeah, Barbara Pintara. Okay. Yeah, that's lovely. So uh, that's one of her works. And, and if you noticed, her work is a little bit looser in the landscape. It's a little bit more uh -huh. abstract, but it's still based on the landscape. Um, and uh, this is another one of my photographs from, uh, of Akabana Harbor. Mm -hmm. And we'll look at some of the others later on. Uh, OK. Because there's a few more. All right, so that's wonderful. And this event is going to take place uh, the event, it's, as the title says, Labor Day Landscape Show. Uh, the show opens on Friday, um, mm -hmm. August 29th, and it runs through Monday, September 1st. And anybody can go to see it? Yep. Uh, it's open to the public. We're having an opening reception on Saturday, 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Yes, I like um, opening receptions. <laughs> yes, it, w it will be crowded. It's, uh, it's a very popular show. Did uh, you hire a band? <laughs> no, no. We want people to really <laughs> focus and look at the artwork. Artwork, uh, sure. All the artists will be there, so there'll be an opportunity for, uh, for people to talk to the artists and talk to them about their work. Um, and that's how we see the, the, the reception going. It's a, it's a good opportunity for people to come in, look at the work, talk about the work, meet the artists. Um, and then I strong, strongly recommend coming back the following day to really be able to take a look at the work more closely. Yeah, uh, this is a great opportunity for the artists to show their work to oh, people. Oh, it's an absolutely great opportunity. Um, yes. And, you know, it's, it's the exhibition is being held at Ashabog Hall on Springs Fireplace Road in East Hampton. And Ashabog Hall is a, uh, has a great history uh, to art exhibitions. And almost right. every weekend you can go there and there'll be a different exhibition organized by artists. And um, they yeah, renovated Ashwaq Hall this year. They did. Oh yes, I, I've seen it. Yeah. I was and there a few month, couple of months ago. <laughs> it seems like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're doing a lot of great work, and I've seen a lot of uh, artists' work over there. Yes. So I just want to say that you were on my on this show a couple of years ago, and I've seen a lot of your. Uh, work, which is very nice. So Thank you. 
people who have seen that show, I don't know if they remember where you're from, <laughs> and I forgot to tell you the truth. <laughs> well, I'm originally from uh, Connecticut. I was uh, born in New Haven, grew up in Bristol, and oh. um, went to uh, Rhode Island School of Design. In and, Connecticut? Uh, well, the Rhode Island School of Design is in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, Rhode Island. Yeah. Oh, it's just a little a throwaway, a stone yeah. throw. Well, a stone throw. <laughs> it, it, I hitchhiked back and forth oh, from school did. to home, so sometimes it really didn't feel like a stone's throw. <laughs> a pebble. Yeah. <laughs> so you went, uh, that was a special school that you, you went to after you finished uh, high school and yeah. college? or Well, RISD was, is, it's a four-year art school. Oh, it is. And, uh -huh. um, and I did my final year there. They have a European honors program, so I went to Rome for a year, which so I thoroughly enjoyed. So when did you enjoyed. first discover that you have this artist in you? Oh, well, I... When was the first time <laughs> you made a picture? You drew a picture? Uh, the first photograph that I took um, oh. was probably in the eighth grade. You took a photograph. I mean, I assume you had a camera. Somebody gave you a camera? Uh, yeah, you, I used my folks' camera. Or you camera, borrowed it. <laughs> and then they bought me one. Oh, yes. Yeah, so what yeah. did you take a picture of? Uh, well, one of the first things I did is I took a photograph of my cat sitting on the staircase. And I took photographs of my teachers in the eighth grade. And I put their heads on the cat. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you long, were. Long before Photoshop. And I certainly got in trouble for that, you know, because I circulated. There were, I, made, I made little contact prints of them back then. And, well, that um, was very clever of you. Yeah. It was, and in those days, I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> well, I so, can see why, but I, that shows that you were very imaginative. So from there, I, you know, I worked in journalism for a while later on, and uh, then I worked in New York City in the fashion industry. Wow. Um, then I got out of photography for a while. And five or six years ago, I, I decided I, gave, I closed my business at the time, which was above the potatoes in East Hampton Village, and went back into the photography. Oh, so and you have uh, experienced a lot of uh, different uh, vocations. Yes, I have. That all adds to your character. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I met you at uh, the East. East End, what do you call that, the Artist Association, East Hampton Artist Association? The Artist Alliance of East Hampton. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I could never remember the correct. Yeah. And you were president. I was. Um, it's a great organization. Um, mm -hmm. I was president of the uh, group for four years. Uh, mm -hmm. My final term ended this past December. And uh -huh. uh, so Phil's Hammond is president now. And um, So there's another flag in your vocation. Oh. Um, not uh, yeah. What do you call it? A notch yeah. in a gun? <laughs> you, you, you could call it yep. that. But you know, I really, yes. I really wanted to. You know, I had been working so much throughout my all my years, and, and I wanted to try to do something to give back. And you know, the working for the Artist Alliance, uh, being on the board, it's a volunteer position, um, mm -hmm. and you really, you know, you work together to try to, to you know, further the cause for artists out here, and, and mm -hmm. do the best that you can while you're in office. Um, so I see that you have a map here. Is there anything you would like to point well, out for, yeah. uh, for you know, us? The, the show is a benefit for the Nature Conservancy, and that means that 10% uh, of all sales goes to the Nature Conservancy. And we do this because as artists that are working out in the field, we, we have an appreciation, obviously, for the landscape. We're inspired by the landscape. And as we've all seen in the past couple of decades, uh, the rapid rate at which the landscape is diminishing. Uh, open uh -huh. space, uh, the traditional f uh, farmland, and, and the fishing industry out, uh, out here now. So because we as artists were inspired by the landscape and we, uh, the conservation groups like the Nature Conservancy, you know, they're geared to saving uh, the landscape and, uh, mm -hmm. and protecting nature. And that, there, there's a, a really good relationship there uh, because our landscape wouldn't be there if they weren't doing the work they were doing. And through shows like this, uh, the Labor Day Landscape Show, you know, as artists, we can give back. We can have an exhibition and show people what we've been painting, how we've been inspired by this landscape. And that sort of implies you know, the real importance of preserving the landscape. And it highlights the important work that the Nature Conservancy mm -hmm. is doing. 
Um, so you have so like what we have here is just the, you know some uh, a chart here that shows a little bit of uh, what uh, the Nature Conservancy does out here. Um, and maybe what we could do is I'll show this map here. Yeah, you um, could put it in your lap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can. Okay, so what do you want to show? Oh, well, you know, what we can do is just actually mm -hmm. we can zoom in on this map up here. And, you know, the, the, what, I'll put this here and I can just read mm -hmm. off of this and that works better. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Nature Conservancy, as you know, is a worldwide organization, uh, yeah. but it's also, there's a, cha a Long Island chapter. Uh, Nancy Kelly is the executive director of the Long Island chapter. Um, and some of the areas that they work on Long Island, um, they've got, like here, for example, the uh, conservation portfolio sites, and I just sort of will run through them so people mm -hmm. get an idea that people have probably heard of all of these locations. Um, and these are a lot of locations that we go to to photograph and to paint from. Uh, we've got the Atlantic Ocean beaches and bays that basically run the entire length of uh, Long Island. Um, locally, we've got uh, the Long Island Pine Barrens, uh, Conscience Point. You know, they also have a TV show, Long Island Pine Barren. A TV show? Yeah, like mine. Seen that. Yeah. You haven't? No. They used to be just before my show, they used to show it. Yes. I'm sorry, I forget um, their names. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and more locally, there's uh, Gardner's Island, Orient Point, uh, Montauk Peninsula, uh, the Double Dunes in Amagansett, which was the original photograph that we showed, um, uh, Mashomic Preserve on Shelter Island, um, oh, okay. and the entire Apaconic Estuary, which includes Akabana Harbor, um, all the way through, um, like the, if I can show you up on here, mm -hmm. the uh, Apaconic Estuary is up here, and it actually runs all the way down through. And it's all the bays uh, mm -hmm. that are in there. And it's, a, mm -hmm. it's just a lot of wonderful sites to go photograph and paint. Yeah, well, this is the place for all those wonderful things. Well, it's very impressive that all these places are uh, you, you're trying to help or preserve. It, it's, it's a very good cause. Yeah. It is. It's a very good cause. And, it, uh, and like I was saying earlier, it works so well for, for the artists who are doing landscape work. Okay, now I think maybe we should see the rest Take a look of at the, the rest. slides. Okay. Oh, again, the, the opening reception is Saturday between 5 to 8 on August 30th, and the public is more maybe than we welcome. Could, oh, we didn't bother putting the... Uh, you could talk about the... Uh, all right. Is this the new one? Yep. This is um, a photograph oh. of uh, Akabana Harbor, uh, one of my photographs. And again, this was done in that same style. This is about seven feet in width also. Mm -hmm. uh, we can take a look at the next. Uh, this is Walter Us. Walter is, is a phenomenal artist. And his work is, um, very, uh, how would you describe it? Maybe it's very ethereal, but it's very landscape based. Um, and he's new to the exhibition this year, and I'm very, very glad that he's uh, with us. Uh, Michelle Margui. Yeah, that's very nice. Now this is Mary Milne, and this is actually fused glass. And I was very intrigued by this process because most fused glass that I've seen is f very thin and it's flat and it, it hangs on a wall. Uh, but this is over an inch thick. And it stands on its own like a piece of sculpture. Did she tell you her secret, how she made it? <laughs> All I know is it sits in the kiln for several days. Um, but, you know, oh. for this exhibition, she's been going out into Akabana Harbor and Three Mile Harbor and uh, taking impressions of the landscape and translating that into mm -hmm. these fused glass sculptures, um, which is great. Uh, Gordon Matheson again. Mm -hmm. After the Storm is the title of that. Barbara. Barbara Grew, um, she's uh, an abstract painter, um, and her work is inspired by the landscape. It's probably, I think all of her work is done in the studio, but still it shows that uh, how the light out here um, inspires artists. Uh, Gail Kern. Uh, where, where is that little, is that a little lake or pond, or is it a swimming pool? I, I have to say that I don't recall the mm -hmm. title of the piece. I didn't have time okay. to put the title up there. No, it's not the title. I was just wondering where it was because that water there is quite small compared to the others. Yeah, it could just be a small inlet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and this is a big inlet. 
Uh, this yeah, goes yes. into the ocean, right? Yes, this is uh, Cedar Point. Oh, Cedar Point, yes. I, I and, know you know, for me, photographing these landscapes, it's, um, I like to photograph in the early morning and the late evening. Oh. Um, the painters tend to go out a little bit later, so when they go out painting in groups, uh, I'm already finished. <laughs> well, um, it, it shows up differently, you yeah. know. And it's, what, it's because what day, of the light. What part of the day you do, and if the sun is out, or if it's cloudy, whatever, it gives a different uh, yeah. feeling yeah. and different picture. Yeah. So uh, you can uh, give the information of the website if you have. Yeah, we have uh, a website. Um, if, if anyone would like information on the exhibition, yes. they can go to eastendlandscapes.com. Eastendlandscapes.com, right. yes. Uh, they could also Google, Google uh, Labor Day Landscape Show East Hampton, and, uh -huh. and they'll find us. Um, you yeah. can also uh, find us on the Nature Conservancy's website for Long Island. They have a press release there for us. Or they can call me at 631-987-7005. Uh, and the exhibition is open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And everyone okay, is welcome. See the, we have it up there, which is good. Yes. They'll be able to find information there. Yeah. And uh, do you also have a website? Uh, that was the website for it. I have oh, my own personal website. That's what I'm asking. Right. You yeah. have your own website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, TomSteelStudio.com. Oh, wow. So what are you uh, looking forward to that uh, you'll be doing in the future now that you're not doing the uh, volunteer work? Um, I'm going to be focusing a lot more on the photography. Um, do you also do photographs for privately, like people? Or only? No, I don't. Uh, you know, I decided when, uh, when I came back into photography that I'm going to focus on my work more as fine art rather than commercial work. Because um, oh. I found when I worked commercially, uh, it's a business, and I'm working commercially, and um, it, it, I ended up not having any room to do the fine art work. So it I'm, takes away from your creativity. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I decided perhaps. not to do uh, the uh, commercial work, and I'm focusing solely on the fine art. And, mm -hmm. uh, and those people that go to my website will see that I've got uh, several uh, mm -hmm. different bodies of work. Mm -hmm. uh, very so is there temper. anyone in your family who is as talented as you are? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say so. Yeah? Yeah. Well, my dad, uh, my dad is, uh, was uh, an engineer, uh, so he, he, was, uh, he was a pretty smart guy in <laughs> what he did. Um, yeah. But, you know, in terms of art, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, my mom you know, did some artwork, um, but my brothers are not. Uh, they're more computer oh. oriented. Well, in I'm their sure work. they're making a lot of money in the computers. <laughs> <laughs> like, than people someone has in the to arts. make the money because <laughs> being an artist is not all that easy. So, how how many siblings do you have? I have uh, three brothers and no sisters. Three brothers. Right, and yeah. so it's four boys in the family. And, and where uh, are they? Uh, one, they're, we're all in a row. Uh, my oldest brother's a year and a half older than I am. Then oh. there's me. Then there's uh, John, is one year younger than I am, and then Greg, two years younger than that. So we're all bunched together. Yeah, and but where? Yeah, Greg is uh, in the Merchant Marine. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. He um, he's a captain, and he's licensed to uh, operate any size vessel on any ocean in the world. So um, he's out there doing doing his thing. Maybe he could arrange for a cruise for you. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be the captain. <laughs> and uh, Norman is down in uh, 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 Maryland. Uh, he's working in the computer industry there. And mm -hmm. John is still, uh, he's up in Connecticut. Uh, and my mom is in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and my dad has passed away. So are you close with your family? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I bet you they will come to visit you during the summer. <laughs> <laughs> the Hamptons. <laughs> Yeah, well, right now I've got uh, my brother-in-law and his kids visiting. See, I so, knew it. I and it's it. great. <laughs> I, love, I love when people come to visit because I find that I go out and I do things that I wouldn't normally do. Oh. And, for example, when they came to visit us in, in New York, uh, we went to the Statue of Liberty. 
<laughs> I was like, how many years did I live in New York and never go to the Statue of Liberty? I don't think um, I ever did go. Yeah. And I came on the boat from <laughs> Europe, and I, I never, you know, and when we landed, I mean, when we docked, it was foggy. I didn't even see it. And I just, all these years, I never went there. Yeah. It's amazing. So, um, yeah, so we're doing interesting things. We're probably going to go to the carnival uh, tomorrow. Oh, just so many things doing here. There, are the children small? Uh, seven and eight. Oh, they would love all those things, the rides and, the, and everything that's going on here. They have a lot of choices. <laughs> yes. And pretty soon everything is going to stop and we're going to be so lonely for the people. Do you think? You mean come <laughs> September when yeah. everyone leaves? Yeah. No, I, no, we're not going to be lonely. It gets a little too hectic for me in the summer. <laughs> yes. I enjoy the yes. little slower pace. Right. Well, <clears throat> okay. So again, the information to the, yeah. for this place so the, is... So the Labor um, Day Landscape Show, um, mm -hmm. I can show a poster for it. If you want to uh -huh. zoom in on that, you'll see some of these around town. Um, yeah. The Labor Day Landscape Show, uh, it's a benefit. Uh, it's 14 artists showing landscape-inspired artworks, uh, paintings, tapestries, photography, uh, fused glass, mm -hmm. um, being held at Ashwag Hall. Labor Day weekend. Um, Which is located on? Springs Spring. Fireplace Road mm -hmm. at Old Stone Highway in East Hampton. Yes. And the exhibition is open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, 10 a.m. to 5. The and date, Labor Day weekend. Yeah, August 29th. 2008. Yes, <laughs> 2008. Uh, so when they replay this in five years, they don't yes, go yeah. see the show. <laughs> Uh, August 29th to September 1st, and a portion of all sales will go to uh, benefit the Nature Conservancy for the work they do. Well, it was so wonderful having you, Tom. See, it went so fast, and we probably didn't even cover everything. I want to thank uh, the crew. Uh, Nikolai is a new uh, camera person, <laughs> and Lee Davis, my director, and uh, and all the underwriters and everybody, and don't forget to tune in, Channel 20 on Long Island. Of course, you could watch me in Riverhead and Manhattan, Tuesday nights at 5.30. <laughs> so it's...